Okay, good morning all together. The interpreter is also going to remove the face mask. <laughs> to be here today is a, a present for all of us, not only for me. Uh, and to see what, you know, about a year and a half, we just had kind of an idea. And that idea started to shape, and today is a reality. Uh, this uh, gathering is a kind of a, a simple gathering, but on the other hand, it is a, quite an ambitious event. We are here to try to link the words with fire, the community, and the know-how. And all revolving around the volcanoes, we come, some of us at least, come from volcanic and unique territories. My territory is unique as well. There are some, now we, we do not have volcanoes, but we have other interesting things. And I think that volcanic uh, territories and volcanic communities show us, uh, you know, people that can have resilience, that adapt to the territory. And resilience is something that is going to be very important, bearing in mind all the things that are happening and going on in the uh, planet. So... We shall respect, you know, the earth, the human beings. I don't want to add too many things because I think that during the previous presentation with the president of the Island Council and the presentation that we carried out in Madrid, we mentioned many, many things, but there's one idea that I would like to underpin, namely gastronomy is one of the most revolutionary tools that we currently have in the society. The only one that is able to link, as Xavier said before, tourism, to link uh, the primary sector, the agro-industry, science, culture, and depending on how we focus it, we would have one result or the other. Anyhow, I once say what we know, many people say that we are what we eat, but we're not that far from that idea, right? I mean, it's something that is linked to our daily lives uh, of all of us, irrespectively of our background, training, work, jobs. And it's marvelous because food is also surprising. Also, when they come from other cultures, we never reject it. And most of the cultural activities are linked to gastronomy. So I think that we shall celebrate it and take advantage of these circumstances that we have to, to grow together. And apart from discovering the different usages of here, thermic and the uniqueness of the volcanic produce that come from that great soil, that we somehow can uh, pay attention to Lanzarote as a um, meeting point from people from all over the world that have something that was not done before. And I think this is a great chance, maybe not this first year where we, you know, we will see some volcanic territories from three different continents, but maybe in the, in the future events, we might have the possibility to talk about many other things. So thank you so much to all the attendees, to the Island Council of Lanzarote for trusting so much in our project from the very beginning. I know that when we share the original idea about this world canic, they insisted us on, you know, celebrating it in Lanzarote, yes, so yes. And now we are here all together, so happy. And thank you all the sponsors from the island and from abroad. Do we have uh, simultaneous interpreting? Yes, we do. So he will not have to repeat everything in English. So thank you again. And it's a pleasure to be here with you today. I would like to... Gerta um, shall take the floor now before the president of the Island Council. And I wish you a nice day. The best part is, you know, to drive all the way here to Los Jameos so we kind of got the taste of the volcano with all the landscapes and forget about the hectic, you know, with the flights and that is linked to the business world. So Alberto Aguiar takes the floor.
Muy buenos días a todos. Hello, good morning all together. First of all, I would like to apologize the president of the Island Council, Maria Dolores Caruco. She wanted to be here and she asked me to give you warm regards on her behalf. Uh, it would be difficult to find a better setting than Jamez de la Agua to inaugurate Volcanic, the first international uh, gastronomy and ecosystem and volcanic ecosystem event. The eruption created a tunnel of over six kilometers length where the Cova de los Verdes and Jameos are. And this space is kind of a big hole on the soil that originated when uh, uh, volcanic tube collapsed. The, but the uniqueness of this place is the result of uh, several eruptions that have been adapted by human creativity. In fact, Jameos de Laguas is the first big work of Cesar Manrique and it means a sketch of his uh, concept of linking art and nature. About 50 years ago, Cesar Manrique turned this natural space into his uh, work art, and today is one of the main attractive in Lanzarote. And therefore, I believe that the place where we are here today is a great example of the spirit that inspired this international gastronomy and volcanic ecosystems uh, event organized by Vocento Gastronomia and the Lanzarote Island Council. We are very proud to celebrate and hold this first meeting of volcanic gastronomy of the world because it reminds us that life can grow back after a big disaster. In our case, it was in the 18th century where we suffered an eruption that uh, lasted for about six years, devastating towns, uh, estates and crops but after that we were capable to reconstruct the island and bring progress therefore the volcanic systems do not only host lava and fire but a big potential to recover life and development along these days the three days we're going to show the uniqueness of the gastronomies that are developed in the volcanic uh, ecosystems and therefore uh, cooks uh, winemakers and all people revolving around the sector will show how science, territory, produce, tourism can link to, and show something together. For the Island Council, uh, we feel really proud to show some of the places like the uh, Restaurante Volcanic, Mirador del Rio, apart from Jameos del Agua. I'm convinced that all the attendees will not only see in these spaces the, you know, uh, the what happened with the destruction, but the creative power of human being when art and nature linked to create beauty on the volcanic ashes. But also the private initiative contributes pretty much uh, in many of the spaces where we're going to gather together and experience something interesting, which shows how robust the uh, business uh, fabric is. Together, volcanoes and gastronomy are going to show a unique product that will catch the, catch the attention to the most curious travelers, and Lanzarote is a good example of it. I would like to uh, congratulate all of you and welcome you warmly. I think in La Palma, I undoubtedly this event will be very useful and a good example for that. So I officially declare Volcanic um, open. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Island Minister Alberto Aguiar. I think that with these two speeches, we have understood that the, here we have much more than just an event. We're talking about a meta event. Um, and as Benjamin Lara said before, this is going to be a simple event, but I would rather say, um, as a son of a very uh, famous sculpture, you know, simplicity is something, is a complexity that's been resolved. And having said that, and before we start, I would like to call all the uh, panelists and all people that have participated to celebrate this volcanic to come here on stage in order to make a family picture. So if you don't mind, just come here on stage. Cocineros, científicos. Cooks, researchers, and all the people that participate in the World Caddy, please come here on stage to make a family picture because I think this will be an historic picture because as we said, this is the beginning of something that will become very big. So please take the stage.
aquí. buscando los huecos y afortunadamente sois muchos Muchas gracias a todos. Thank you. Thank you all panelists and people that uh, participated during this first volcanic event. This uh, amazing event that will keep us busy in the upcoming days and probably much more. Um, well, having said that and having made the, the official presentation, let's start with the uh, panelists.